Thank you, um, Mr. President. I rise to honor the memory of Jesse Owens, an Olympic record breaker and pioneer on the track and off the track, who would have, who would turn 100, who's, who was born 100 years ago tomorrow. Born in Alabama as the youngest of 10 children, James Cleveland Owens moved to Cleveland, Ohio with his family at the age of nine. Leaving the South during the Great Migration, those several decades between 1910, roughly, and 1970, Jesse's family came North seeking economic opportunity and greater, greater personal freedom. His father left his work as a sharecropper in the South, something difficult to do because so often the landowner held those sharecroppers by holding real or imagined debt over their head over their heads. He left his work as a sharecropper in the South and found a job in the steel industry in Cleveland, Ohio. Jesse J. James Cleveland Owens enrolled in Bolton Elementary School on the east side of Cleveland. Because of his strong Southern accent, when the teacher asked him his name and he said JC, the teacher misheard it and started calling him Jesse, a name that stuck. While in junior high, he met Charles Riley, who taught him about physical education and coached the track team. Charles Riley nurtured Jesse's obvious talent, helping him to grow stronger athletically and set long-term goals that served him well as he went on to Cleveland East Technical School. My hometown of Mansfield, Ohio, started hosting the storied Mansfield Relays, one of the biggest relays, maybe the biggest in the country, beginning in 1927, a sporting event that drew athletes from six states in Canada. I remember my family in the 1960s hosting many of the visiting athletes that came to our town to compete in the Mansfield relays. Among these many promising athletes, obviously prior to my parents doing that, none shine brighter than the sprinter from just an hour up north. At the Mansfield relays, Jesse Owens sharpened his focus and won the 32 and 33 relays for East Tech, setting records that lasted into my childhood into the 1960s and 70s. He later went on to attend the Ohio State University, where he's known as the Buckeye Bullet, winning a record eight individual NCAA championships. The story goes that at Ann Arbor, at the Big Ten track meet one year, in, uh, in Ann Arbor, Michigan, while competing in a 45-minute period, Jesse Owens won, set three world records. We're used to seeing college athletes that are revered today, but in his day, Owens could not live on campus due to a lack of housing for black students. He could not stay at the same hotels when his track team traveled or eat at the same restaurants as the white players on that team while they were traveling with him. But he achieved global fame and heroism status because of what he did during the 1936 Olympics in Berlin. While a hateful regime in Germany hoped to use the Olympics to promote the Aryan race, to promulgate a wrong-headed, dangerous, and inherently racist belief in the superiority of that race, Jesse Owens turned this theory on its head. He won four gold medals in Berlin. He set world records in three events while tying for a world record in a fourth event. He showed that talent in sportsmanship transcended race. And he embarrassed an evil dictator who hoped to manipulate the Olympic Games to further his political agenda. Interestingly, Adolf Hitler refused to shake hands with Jesse Owens, when he won one of those events, the International Olympic Committee told the German government that, that Hitler either shake hands with all the athlete, all the winners, or none of the winners, and Hitler, the story goes, Hitler refused to come back and, and observe the Olympics. Um, again, a testament to the heroism and the courage and the discipline of, Jess, of James Cleveland, Jesse Owens. Despite these achievements, in the Rose Garden and Oval Office greetings that today's Olympians are accustomed to, Jesse Owens never received congratulations or recognition by President Truman, President Roosevelt, or President Truman. It was only during the presidency of Dwight Eisenhower that in a, in a different time, beginning to be a different time in race relations in this country, that a president of the United States actually recognized Jesse Owens' achievement. He was, he was 
by most measurements, the best athlete in the world. But he returned to the United States of America, a black man in the 1930s, to face economic challenges and racial discrimination far that, that are far too familiar to far too many Americans. He continued to travel and inspire athletes and fans across the globe. I had the, the honor of meeting Jesse Owens when I was 12 years old, when he was the speaker at my brother Bob's high school graduation in 1965. Jesse Owens worked alongside the State Department to promote goodwill in Asia and worked in 1950 to promote democracy abroad as part of a Cold War effort. Think about that. A black man who is the best athlete in the world was a hero to large numbers of Americans, black and white in 1936, standing up in many ways against the fascist machine of Adolf Hitler, not being recognized by a president of the United States who was winning a war against Hitler ultimately, yet he went out five years later after that war to promote democracy abroad as part of a Cold War effort. Still proud of his country, still knowing our country had work to do. 1973, he was appointed to the Board of Directors of the U.S. Olympic Committee where he worked to ensure the best training and conditions for U.S. athletes. He lent his skill and his talents to various charitable groups, notably the Boys Club of America. In 1976, Jesse Owens finally, finally received the presidential recognition that he's deserved, was printed, presented with the Presidential Medal of Freedom from President Ford. Jesse Owens was a pioneer. Despite facing adversity, he had the strength of mind and the discipline common to almost all great athletes to become the most elite of athletes. Despite being treated differently and shamefully from other athletes of his stature, he went on to shatter records. Despite competing in the darkest of days globally, he did his part standing up, standing up to fascism, dispelling racism, and promoting unity. Tomorrow, Mr. President, we celebrate the 100th birthday of a hero to all Americans, James Cleveland Jesse Owens.